I have a pet peeve about the way we talk about anxiety and depression and that sort of thing. Anxiety and depression lead to these emotions that a lot of people, every person has felt. Everyone has felt anxious about something. Everyone has felt depressed about something. So it's when we use the words anxiety and depression to talk about someone's medical condition, it's a bunch of chemical problems inside the body. Like just the same as in a lot of ways, diabetes is a lot of chemical problems inside the body. But when we talk to people about uh, anxiety and depression, we sort of have this like somber tone, like we're about to bury somebody. Oh, they've got anxiety. And that's contributing to why people don't want to talk about it. That's why there's a stigma. If I say mental health, mental translates to something awful. I think I figured part of this out. I was born and raised working class. And when I say working class, my mom and dad were very educated people who went on to do all the things they had to do to raise us kids. And my dad had four jobs at different times. My mom had at least two early on when things were just rough. And they grew into sort of the middle, middle class. But I really honestly think that my early childhood was upper, lower, and I just didn't know it. Working class means that, you know, if you don't have enough money, you get another job. Um, I remember my first big car accident and I told my mom and I'm all shook up and I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm going to get to go to work tomorrow. My mom said, you are going to work tomorrow. They expect you there. There's a seat with your name on it and you're going to screw up everybody's schedule if you don't go. I wasn't hurt or anything. I was just kind of a little emotionally stressed. But she was like, you're going to work, mister. Working class, that working feeling, that's, that's my aesthetic. That's always been my thing. Partly East Coast, partly Irish, partly because of uh, being raised Catholic. All of these things contribute to like, we just go to work. That's what we do. We work. I think the same way about stress and anxiety and depression. I suffer from mild clinical depression. Some people have it way worse than me. And there's some times when it does feel like the end of the world. And we need more than what we can handle on board or whatever. A lot of times this is not just you can think your way out of it. You need chemicals. You need uh, therapy. You need all kinds of things to kind of take out some of the dents or, or smooth over some of the dents or at least get the, yourself drivable again, right? We're all dented. But we've got to stop talking about it like it's something bad or spooky or sad. When I say I've got depression, every time I send out a post about this, what I get back are a lot of people saying, I'm just checking in on you, man. Because they think what I'm saying is, and I'm so close to the edge and now I'm going to die. But you don't say that about diabetes. You know, you don't say it about a lot of things. So let's just all agree that we could just like someone says, yeah, I deal with depression. You go, yeah. You know, and it's not a big thing. We don't have to say mental health if we don't want to because we're ending the stigma. And it's just a matter of we're just... That's part of what we have on deck, right? Let's do that.